you guys we are in jamestown today to find out everything about it Welcome back to my channel. It's Stephen Mira here. If you're new, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back. So today I'm at Jamestown, and um, this place is popularly known as a port where they fish and all that stuff. Um, I don't really know what it's all about, so we are going to meet a tour guide to uh, take us around, and then let's know actually what happens here. So. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, let's move into the video. So, we just uh, linked up with the tour guide and he's going to take us around this place and actually tell us what happens here. But exactly, what is Jamestown like? What happens here actually? Yes, actually, Jamestown is the oldest part of Accra. Okay. And good. Some of the buildings are built by the British. Like this building, the James Fort Prison, used as a slave activity and after they started slavery. They turned it as a prison. And Ghana first Prime Minister, Great Nkrumah, he was in jail there for two years. So inside there we have a slave market too. A female prison and a male prison all inside there. And this is the first hotel in Ghana, the CD Hotel. When a slave masters are tired, okay. they used to arrive and have their good years. Oh. First high street in Ghana, wow. by this to Togo, Nigeria. Wow. Ivory Coast, DC. Wow. And the reason why we got the name Jamestown, I'm going to sell the slave to Mr. James. He's a slave master, and our chief is to sell the slave to That's why we have the name Jamestown. Oh. Lighthouse gives the big ships direction to Accra. Wow. The ships coming to take the slaves out, give them direction to Accra. So you get this is the fort, Fort James, used as a slave activity and after the start of slavery, they turn it as a prison. In Ghana Flesh, Prime Minister, Great Nkuma, he was in jail there for two years. So inside there we have a slave market, a female prison, and a male prison outside. And that slave prison town, that's the Bible house, slave master's house. We have the British Palace, that's English in Alatamantia Palace. Yes, passed away seven months ago. This is a paramount chief that we have in Accra. And this was the first high street in Ghana. By this to Nigeria, I break off this too. We speak gun here, yeah, this is the gun community. We speak gun. Yeah. Are the trees and the airways to those Nigerians? We need to get together here. So when you don't mind, it's interested to come and live with us. We have a lot of Nigerians in the down there. Oh. A lot of Nigerians in the down there. The lighthouse gives the big ship direction to Accra. The ships coming to take the slaves away. We give them direction to Accra. Oh, the long, ships come yes, from the lighthouse. Yes. Wow. And a long monument over there is a grave of one North American. Grave of one. One North American, a slave master. Okay. During the slave trade, he died and in British buried him there. His name is called Mr. Derrissi. But after that, you can walk down there if you take pictures of what you like to do. So, walk down there. So, can I ask you some questions? So, how long has this town existed? This is the oldest part of Accra. Oldest. This is where Accra started from 14th century to 16th century. Wow. So, these buildings I'm seeing over here. Are they the exact building that has those Yes, like right? this. About 400 years. 400, 400 years? years. Yes. Buildings. Wow. 350 buildings. 300 years. But the Bible house is to have It's just been renovated. Oh. All these so right now, what, what do they do in Bible house? They right sell the good news. They sell the good news. About what happened? No, they sell the Bibles. Oh, Bible. <laughs> So this spot right now, what are they using it to do now? The lighthouse. Yes. The lighthouse gives the big ship direction to Accra. So it gives the direction to the ships oh. who are coming to Accra. During the olden days, it gives the direction to the slave ships. Oh, they are coming to carry the black yes. Africans. So right now, this uh, sea or this this sea here, do they use it for fishing now? Yes, for fishing. That was the first spot. By the British, 
so they have the local boat trip there now. Nice. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. So guys, we've all heard from the horses' mouth everything about Jamestown. Apparently, once you get here, the first place you have to visit is the information text where you will have to request for a tour guide who will take you around and explain each and every history behind this street. Uh, be the behind this town actually because it is the oldest in Accra. So, this is the first hotel that is located in Accra, it is located in Jamestown. This is where the whites slept with our African slaves and all that. Just as the tour guide said, this is the first high street in Accra. This road is leading to Nigeria, from as in Togo, Nigeria, and this other road is. See how Asians look in these buildings. 